Hey guys, Tamna here. First of all, I'd like to say thank you so much for 6K subscribers. In this video, I'll be reviewing Banana Boat Protection Plus Vitamins Face Sunscreen Lotion SPF 50 Plus. This sunscreen is said to be lightweight, nourishing, hydrating, and moisturizing while protecting the skin. It claims it won't clog pores. It's fragrance-free, absorbs excess oils, and is perfect for use under makeup. It retails for around $10.50 upwards for 59 ml. Here's what the packaging looks like. So I got this as a set of three. So this is the face version. I have the body lotion version and I have the spray version. I would have done all together, but I thought to do the bodies, the body sunscreens in one video, if that makes sense. Okay, so now I'm going to do a hand swatch for you guys. That's thick. It's really thick. <laughs> Is that a cast I'm seeing? Okay, no, I don't think so. Do not leave me with a cast. I'm just going to let this air dry because it's going to be blending for a long time. So here's what the back of my palm looks like after being blended in. Time for face application. I don't have any shine on my face. Let me do this with this side. Can you guys see? The only products I have on my skin right now includes CeraVe Toner and Elf Moisturizer. Links to these products will be in the description box. All right, I have my measuring spoon here as always. Spoon is full. I just remembered I, I ought to clip my hair, so let me clip my hair off camera. Okay, time to blend in. Just going to allow this air dry. I don't want to overly blend. This is giving me glow. It's giving me high shine. It reminds me so much of Bondi Sands, the Cosrx Vitamin E sunscreen, as well as the Naturium sunscreen. That's what I'm getting. I'm going to come forward so that you guys can see my face up close what do you guys think let me take you guys outside so you see what my face looks like with or in natural light let's go So you guys just saw my face in natural light and you can see that I am glowing. So my first impressions for this sunscreen in terms of how it feels, it's lightweight, very easy to blend. Just anything, anytime you have like a cream based sunscreen, spread, chill, then blend. In terms of the finish on the skin, I'm very glowy. In terms of how this smells, it states that it's fragrance free, but it definitely contains alcohol. It's like Panadol somehow. So what type of sunscreen is this? This is a chemical sunscreen that is dark skin friendly. The sunscreen filters include avobenzone at 2.7%, homosalate 9%, octosalate 4% and octocrylene. 5% contains other ingredients like niacinamide, vitamin E, vitamin C, green tea, and so on. Guys, I just noticed that at the bottom of the ingredient list, there is titanium dioxide in this sunscreen. So I don't know as to the degree or the percentage of the titanium dioxide here. So I'm, I'm kind of confused. Well, it doesn't leave a cast on my skin, so every skin type can use it. I 
we'll go ahead and send the brand an email or a message on Instagram and hopefully they reply me. And when you do, I'll make sure I pin the, um, their um, reply in the um, comment section. So make sure you check that out. So who do I recommend this to? I recommend this to those who have dry to normal skin, mainly because the shine is just perfect for them. Um, my skin type is combination. I get oily around my T-zone. Um, those who have oily skin can't wear this, but you can definitely use this on your body. So does this sunscreen peel or sting the eyes? It doesn't peel, at least I haven't noticed that, but in terms of sting, I did feel a burning sensation around my eyes. Um, it's kind of mint, feels minty right now. Like I'm about to tear up, but it's not, it hasn't hit the right spot yet, if that makes sense. I'll come and show you guys what my face looks like when it's two hours. So I'll see you guys when it's complete two hours. Hey guys, I am back and it's been two hours, 30 minutes ish. Uh, <laughs> I'm sure you wonder why I'm like this. I'm crying. I didn't want to clean off the tears because I wanted you guys to see I had been crying a lot. And it's about to move to this eye, so I just thought... I just realized that after blotting my face, I did not insert the wire of my mic right, so the audio is kind of faint. I believe you guys will hear from the first one. You guys can see the difference between here, where it has been blotted down and here that has not been blotted down. I've had this for two plus hours, so you can see that I got extra shiny. So if you have like oily skin, combination skin, this is not for you. Dry skin, however, I can use it. I will repurpose this for my body alongside the body one. But I'd compare it with the body one and see if the body one is better. I don't, I'm not expecting that, but yeah, I'll just maybe pair all three together. I'll let you guys know what I think about them stings the eyes very badly because it stings my eye doesn't mean it will sting your eyes so um i'll just say that um if it occurs make sure you use you exempt that area or basically don't put sunscreen on that area or don't put the sunscreen on that area get yourself glow Biramon and beauty or juice on a um, matte sun stick or get any other matte sun stick but that one is really nice because it's matte yeah that's pretty much it for this video guys i hope you found this video helpful if you did find it helpful or useful in any way do let me know in the comment section like this video share it subscribe if you haven't already and i'll see you guys in my next one bye guys thank you so much for watching thank you for 6k and stay blessed